a young man uh, in his 20s. And basically he ended high school, didn't know what to do with himself, he was hanging out with some friends. I think he tried pain pills around the age of 17 or 18, so somewhere towards the end of high school, and wound up getting physiologically dependent on it, such that he needed to keep getting them. At this point, he's 24-ish, living with his parents, hasn't held down a job for more than a couple of months. He himself had one overdose experience where his family came home and found him passed out on the couch and called the cops who brought in the Narcan. They knew he was using some stuff but didn't really have a sense of the severity. They didn't have a sense that it might kill him. So they nudged him to get help. He also felt, think, felt quite embarrassed about all of that, didn't want to hurt his family. That was a big motivator for entering treatment. Initially I was seeing him weekly. Um, there'd be a story of, sorry doc, I used this week. But he was coming and we were talking about it and said, okay, this seems like progress. And eventually, maybe he got stuck, he got tired of having the same conversation with me and over and over again, but he eventually started actually taking the medication and realized that he felt better about himself and started engaging with a support group and now goes to a couple of meetings and, and, and things are moving forward.